I'm about to convert this fuck bike to e electric drive. Here's a drive motor, but I had huge difficulty removing the bottom bracket. What happened is that every time I tried to turn it was so tight it would slip. It would slip. So like when you twist it would slip right out like this because it was on so tight as you can see when they assembled it they did not even put any anti-season the treads eventually this steel will have welded onto the aluminum and you'll have tremendous problems getting it loose anyway let me show you how i dealt with that this is how i managed to get it loose i just put on the bar clamp tight it as tight as I can and it would hold the socket in place so it won't slip and then you just put a extension bar at the end here and turn and that would loosen it I put it here to put this glove here to stop the bar clamp from scratching the frame but anyway just just a quick tip here on removing these bottom brackets that has the uh, retaining um, cups that are like really too tight well the fat bike conversion to an e-bike went well i got the motor installed i even managed to use the uh the teeth the uh for the four tooth uh chain wheel in front here as you can see the clearance is very 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 tight but the only thing is that the chain, because the uh, chain wheel is, is offset towards the right, I need to find another chain wheel that has more offset towards the left. So the chain would be in line with the middle drive sprocket on the uh, cassette. But as it is, I won't be able to use the uh, one, two, maybe the three lowest gears because the chain is too much to decide but anyway with this big strong motor that should be okay for climbing hills so overview of the bike hopefully i should be able to get this bike down to puerto rico but i think uh the problem would be to try and get the battery down there it's very hard to transport batteries like these on the airplane yeah so this is the battery I reused from the other bike, reused temporarily. Nice comfortable saddle. Didn't even have to use any spacers here. The uh, 100 millimeter Bafang. Um, Drive motor is a perfect fit for 100 millimeter bottom bracket. I got a light with this um, motor, but I haven't installed it yet because I don't have a bolt that's long enough to fit there. So let's see, power on. Just hold that down for a few seconds. Power comes on. And right now it's factory preset for five power levels, so I press this button here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, zero miles right now because I haven't, haven't even ridden it yet, and I need to set the set the clock and, and all the sort of stuff. And this thing supposed to have walking assist. Let me see. If you hold this minus button down. It's supposed to come to P. Yep. See? That's walking assist. You can if you're walking somewhere. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh, it cut off. Safety feature. So it doesn't run away with you. Nice. If you're in difficult terrain, that'll probably help. Like trying to walk up a hill or something. Anyway, yeah, 
Fall right soon.